way to begin this series, trying to tie the series up tonight. That was supposed to be a game you're supposed to win, but there was good news after the game with San Diego losing, and the Dodgers can actually clinch tonight, believe it or not, a playoff spot. If the Braves lose, the Mets lose, and the Dodgers win, magic number's nine, and they're in. This guy <laughs> is having one of the greatest seasons ever, and it's amazing where he comes from as far as his home run totals, his RBI totals, his batting average for the year. Everything is on the rise. Well, we have a fun one. Why? Because we have Ryan Weathers back on the mound. He hasn't been back on that mound since June 7th. But he has been pitching well in, in AAA. He had two starts, had a really nice outings over there. So it's nice to see him back. Muscles this ball, though, into left center field, and he's got a leadoff base hit. Get in the sprinter's blocks. Get ready. Yeah, two bags away from 50. There goes Otani on the first pitch. Fortes throws. It's a stolen base. And now he looks to take third. Throw is late, and Otani's doing it himself. A leadoff single, a 49th stolen base, and advances to third as the ball gets away. It is a good jump. It looks like he's going to be out with a good throw, but the throw gets away, and he gets credit for the bag. One stolen base away from 50. Betts pops one into shallow center field. Stowers coming on. He's there to make the grab, and Otani's not going anywhere. Here is Teoscar Hernandez. Rolled the short. Otani's coming home. So is the throw, and now he's caught it in pickle, and Fortes will track him down. Dodgers going on contact right there. That is not a read play where Otani made a bad read. Infield in, and they decided with Otani's speed and one out already, they're going on contact. So contact, he's off. And what he's trying to do here when he's hustling back is to get into a rundown so that Teoscar can get to second, but Fortes got the rundown over in a hurry. Dodgers unable to take advantage of the runner at third. And it's a man at first, two out, and Freddie Freeman at the plate. Sent in the air to shadow left field. The third baseman Norby steps out to the outfield grass and puts it away. Dodgers squander a chance here, and the Marlins come to bat. So it's up to Landon Neck to try and stabilize things. It's his third start here in September. Xavier Edwards is leading off the bottom of the first inning. Another first inning knock there for Xavier Edwards on the tenth pitch of the at bat. There goes Edwards in the pitch to Jesus Sanchez is low in the throw to second base. Sails into center field. Edwards is on his way to third. A stolen base and an E. <laughs> Two. We saw the same darn thing in the top of the first inning. And now Edwards with Sanchez at the plate is at third with one out. And Jesus Sanchez is coming off a career night. Pops this one into left. Here comes Chris Taylor headed towards the plate as he makes the grab. And so Edwards has no chance to come home. Two out. So it brings up Jake Berger. Strikes him out. 96 with life. Number on his back is the speed that puts away Berger. And mere images the top and the bottom. One away in the second inning. And here's Will Smith who had the first game off. Hook down the line towards the pole. If it's fair, it's gone. It is home run, Will Smith. Feeling fresh and launching a home run to start the scoring. And that is a fastball in that he has shown over the course of his career that he can keep fair. And he just barely did mm. that one. Dodgers on the board first. So the Marlins have the leadoff man on for the second inning in a row. Kyle Stowers, a 187 hitter. Another Ooh. fastball, and it rings him up. Bottom of the zone for strike three, his second K. Scorched up the middle and stabbed by Mookie Betts. First start there since May. Ball well, position and able to make the grab. Ball in the air. Let the sure man get it. <laughs> and there's two outs. Here's Griffin Conine. Swing and a miss. Three Ks for Knack through two scoreless innings. And there's two outs here in the third. Knack did something nobody could do last night, and that is retire Connor Norby. Reached base all four times that he was up and scored all four times that he reached. Hey. Woo! Bullseye for strike three. One, two, three. His first clean in into the game. He's got four Ks. He's got three scoreless. Stowers over to cut it off. Holds Freeman to a one out single. Tommy Edmond, the batter, switch it or batting right against Weathers. Edmond sends it to deep right field. Conine's going back. The ball's going over the wall. Tommy Edmond, opposite field punch. A two run home run. And it's three to nothing, Dodgers. This is his strong side. Switch hitter, right-handed, he's got the power. Six of his last nine hits have left the yard. Chopper, left side, ooh. Norby cuts in front and throws wildly. Pajes, who sends one off the end of the bat into right center field, a base hit. Dodgers with one out, have two men on base, and Kike Hernandez walking up. That ball 
almost driven to deep left center field. Kike Hernandez hits one a ton. Way gone. And it's six to nothing. He was hitting them up around there during batting practice with as pretty of a round as you'll ever see. And he's able to replicate that when it matters. And so a five spot for the Dodgers in the fourth. And that's six in a row that have reached. So here's Otani. Right there for a called strike three. Frozen with 97. Betts. Pokes one to second. Otto Lopez. Ends the inning, but a five spot for the Dodgers. A six nothing lead as the Dodgers try to tie this series up. Jesus Sanchez. Swing and a miss. There's another fastball for a strikeout. He's located it well to get in ahead in the count, and he's located it at the top of the strike zone to finish him off. Jake Berger is struck out swinging to end the first inning. Strikes out Berger. That's three K's in a row. 2 1 pitch swung on, hit in the air to right field, and Teoscar Hernandez will. Look up into the ceiling and make the catch. And that's the second straight one, two, three inning. And a knack. In fact, he's retired nine Marlins in a row. Hustle double, Freddie Freeman. With his 506th career double. And Freddie ties Babe Ruth for 59th on the all time doubles list. Will Smith is the batter. Balls. One, two. Rung him up with a curveball strike. Three, the inning is over. So Curry comes on and does his job. The Marlins with runners at first and second and two down. Well, this has been Landon Knack's calling card. When there's traffic and runners in scoring position, he has done a great job getting people out. So Edwards, who's coming up. Stuck with a fastball and struck him out. So another strikeout for Landon Knack. That's his seventh of the game. Oh, stabilizing outing here for this pitching staff from Knack with five scoreless innings. Back-to-back so -back hits here against Logue in the bottom of the seventh inning. Logue in trouble right away. Second and third and nobody out. And Otto Lopez, the second baseman, coming up. He's 0 for 2. Well, that's a, short and quick. a good swing. It's going to drive home one and two. Bryant and Stowers in and with two strikes he shortens up shoots it the other way and gets the Marlins on the board and continues his hitting streak five games now for Otto Dave Roberts going to go to Blake trying and not going to mess around here so Logue's Dodger debut is one that he would like to soon forget single double single runner at third one down and mid for 10 is the catcher one for two up next. Cortez out toward left center and Taylor will track that one down but certainly deep enough to score the run on the sacrifice fly in this inning the Marlins cut that deficit in half now 6 3 time of the eighth inning 6 to 3 Dodgers with the lead Freddie Freeman facing a new pitcher soft bouncing ball left side Norby running throw wide throw and Freeman's on oh no, he's not he's out Dave Roberts going to take the look. I think he was safe. This won't take long. After review, the call on the field is overturned. Runner is safe. Los Angeles retains their challenge. All right, so Freeman's aboard to start the eighth. All of two strikes, one out. Into center field. That's a base hit for Smith. Second of the game for Will. He's headed for second, reading the throw, playing the game, but he's out. And let's take a look at Will because the Dodgers are going to challenge this. Wow, that looked like he was safe. The back leg touches the base before the tag, and then he stays on the bag the whole time. After review, calling the field is overturned. Runner is safe. Wow. So the hustle from Will Smith has runners at second and third. Skip Schumacher doesn't want to deal with Max Muncy, so they will elect to load the bases. And so it's up to the nine hitter, Chris Taylor, who's one for three. Two out RBI. He's got him right where they want him. Here they go. There we go. A base hit in the left field for Taylor. Freeman in the score, so is Smith. Two big insurance runs driven in by Taylor. Eight to three. We have been hot since the All-Star break. Driving in runs with two outs. This will break the spirit of the opposing team. He's collected his 49 stolen base tonight. One shy of 50 there. One shy of the franchise record in home runs for a single season. Sean Green, 49 in 2001. Mike Bauman, who set a major league record of his own by pitching for five different teams this year. Swing and a miss. That one did go down. A knuckle curve. But the damage done for the Dodgers. They score two more, make it 8-3. Brent Honeywell Jr. has got a little bit of work to do here now. Nick Fortes first and third, one out. Honeywell deals. Mookie Betts onto the track, makes the catch. 
Another RBI for Nick Fortes. It scores Otto Lopez. So it's now eight to four, but the Marlins are down to their final out. That's the part about Honeywell that is trustworthy. That you go out there and maybe he's not going to be a perfect inning, but he's going to keep throwing strikes. He's going to keep you in the game, and you feel very comfortable having him on the mound. Golf to center field. This should do it. Kevin Kiermeyer puts it away and the Dodgers on a night where the offense explodes once again get a little more pitching starting with knack and they double up the Marlins 